Visions of Atlantis has been around for more than 15 years. It's been there at the very beginning of the symphonic metal scene with female singers. It was one of the pioneers together with, uh, with the Nightwish and a little bit before Epica and, and bands like this. Um, so Visions of Atlantis is, is, had the will to come back to that era of having real pure symphonic metal back into our modern world. And the major trademarks are, of course, very epic and melodic and um, sort of a little bit old-fashioned way of doing speed metal, melodic metal. Um, of course, we have violins and pianos and that put emphasis on the romantic feelings and open the, uh, um, the landscapes, bring more influences. Like our new album has details from many other kind of music, um, oriental, Celtic touch here and there to um, make it belong to a world of travels and myths. This is also what our band is about, like transponing our reality into a place that is nicer to live in and where, in, and where feelings are greater. And so, yeah. Vision has not always been just about that and I, it's hard for me to talk about the past because I wasn't there before. I joined four years ago. So I think we are trying to uh, sort of um, give a second life to the band now from what it was at the beginning, returning to its roots. And we have a, we have a song that we turn to Lemuria that is the anthem of that. We recorded in our album and, um, with uh, Frank Peters from Civil Line Music. And he's our producer and uh, I recorded more of my vocals at his place in the studio in Vienna, in Austria, this summer, back in 2017.